Today, we're gonna to take a look at a certified for team speaker phone from our friends over at EPOS, the Expand 40T. In this video, we're gonna unbox the Expand 40T, take a look at the device up close, understand all of its buttons, capabilities, features, cables, ports, and then we're actually gonna put it to the test, doing a little bit of voice recording and demoing its capabilities for you in the video. Let's dig in. All right, to unbox the 40T, we're simply going to lift this bottom lip and it will open up that way. And immediately on the inside, we see the carrying case with our 40T inside. Pulling the carrying case with the 40T in it off to the side, we got our quick start guide right below, other documentation as needed, and we've got a little USB adapter here. This is a USB-C cable from the speaker 40T, so this lets us convert USB-C to USB-A. The carrying case is a cloth carrying case. It's got a zipper that goes about halfway around the case here. So as we undo the zipper, the zipper's along the top per the orientation of our branding, we can kind of pull that half up and then we pull out the Expand 40T and get our first glimpse of it. The Expand 40T has an 82 foot range, takes up to three hours for a full charge, and has a 13 hour battery life. There is a three microphone beam forming array, allowing background noise to be filtered out and active voices in the room to be focused in on. The 40T brings mobility and flexibility with multiple options for connecting to a Bluetooth device or the PC. You can connect via USB-C or you can use the USB-C to USB-A converter. You can also use the provided Bluetooth dongle or you can connect the device just via a Bluetooth connection or using NFC. Additionally, the 40T can be connected to up to two Bluetooth devices at one time, and you can switch between a personal mode and a shared mode. Focusing in on the back, we're gonna pull the Bluetooth dongle out. This is a little bit different than your average Bluetooth dongle that we've seen in Microsoft Teams devices. Built-in LED right there, our branding up top, and then we've got a pairing button off to the side so that you can pair this with the Bluetooth button at the front of the device. The USB-C cable just wraps around the device a couple different times and then clips into place so that it doesn't get uh, unraveled easily or come apart. All along the outer rim of the device, there are rubber grips built in so that as you set it on a surface, it does not slide around easily. It stays stationary. Taking a tour of the buttons on the top of the device, we've got our phone capability right here. We can answer and hang up calls. The power button is also part of the hang up button. By pressing this down for three seconds, you will turn the device on. By holding it down for three seconds, you will turn the device off. To take advantage of Bluetooth pairing using the Bluetooth button at the bottom, you will press the Bluetooth button for two seconds and if you're pairing with a phone or a laptop directly, you'll just go into the Bluetooth settings and finish pairing there. If you're going to use the provided dongle on the bottom, you will press the button on the other side of the dongle for three seconds to pair it with the 40T. We've got our NFC pairing button off to the left. We've got our volume controls up and down, our mute button. And this is also how we can control media if we are using this speakerphone for playing music or other types of media. And finally, the Microsoft Teams button. This can be used for performing the supported Microsoft Teams functions with a certified device. It can also be used to activate Cortana. Okay, we installed the EPOS Connect software onto our machine. We plugged in the Bluetooth dongle. And so we see that inside there, the picture is obviously not representative of the actual dongle itself but we have not yet powered on the speaker phone. So to do that, we will hold down the power button for two seconds. Dongle one, connected. And the dongle is pre-connected, prepared, so we don't have to pair it there. Uh, we were told that by the Expand 40 itself, and now the Expand 40 shows up in our list of products. So if we look on both of these, they both say they are up to date. I'll click on the 40T 
And just taking a look at what we've got in our settings, we've got the features listed over here on the left. We've got the setting over here on the right. So Bluetooth is enabled. The device name is pre-put in there. We can change it if we want to. Usage mode is personal. We can change it to shared. Uh, you can also switch between the two modes by using one of the button shortcuts on the device itself. There is a button control, clear pairing lists that is enabled. I'm not going to change that, but obviously you can change that to disabled if you want to. Uh, there's a clear pairing list button. There is a pairing list handling. So if we need to like clean up on pairing, there's a lot of capabilities built in right there. Uh, for our sounds and notifications down here, we've got ringtone on, voice prompts on, voice prompt language. You can choose from English or a number of other preset languages in there. And then for call handling, it is enabled. We can disable call handling if we don't want to, but if we want to manage incoming calls, uh, we can do that by keeping this enabled. On our general settings, we've got button control factory reset. So we, we can do a factory reset if we need to, right down here at the bottom. And that takes us to the end of these settings. By clicking on general settings, we got headset. The default setting is the dongle. We're gonna leave it there. Soft phone, it's already selected Microsoft Teams. Skype for Business is an option, but we are using Microsoft Teams as are most people these days. And then under the general setting here, we've got pause media and that is checked as well. If we need any other information about these settings, you just hover over the little information bubble. For example, the pause media says this controls the function of media players and receiving a soft phone call. So there you go. Coming back out to the main list here, we can restore our settings down here at the bottom or save settings if we made any changes. Since we did not make any changes, there's nothing to save. Down at the bottom, we've got our home button or the updates overview. And this lets us come back out here and see that both the soft, well, the software itself, because we just installed it, and the dongle and the 40T are all up to date. We don't require any other updates at this time. All right, let's test out that Microsoft Teams integration. Now we have gone into Microsoft Teams and set up the uh, devices. So we go into settings up top, we go over to devices, and in here we selected the Bluetooth connector that shows us our speakerphone device. So that's our 40T, we're set up to use that device. Once we do that, we'll just minimize this app once again. You can see it's minimized. I'm taking my hands off the, uh, the mouse, so I'm not clicking anything on the screen. And you'll see the other hand go over to the speakerphone and I will click the Microsoft Teams button and it will bring up Microsoft Teams as it does. Keep in mind, other Microsoft Teams functionalities that are built into certified devices are gonna be available with that Teams button as well. Additionally, we're not gonna demo it here because I don't use Cortana, don't tell anyone, but uh, you just hold the Teams button down for two seconds and it will enable it for Cortana as well. Okay, firing up a Microsoft Teams meeting. We've got a Meet Now popped up here and we've got a camera selected and you can see we've also got the EPOS uh, 40T selected as our echo canceling speakerphone. So all good, let's close our device settings. Let's say join now. Now, once we're connected, we're gonna demonstrate a little mm -hmm. bit of the integration and control that we see here. Okay. In the meeting, we're going to ignore the fact that there's no participants here. That's all good. Now we've got the mute up top. Again, taking my hands off the, uh, the mouse, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to press the mute button on the speakerphone itself. And when I do that, we see on the screen, it muted in the, uh, in the app itself, not just on the device. On the device, we can see that we've got all red along the top there indicating that we are muted. We'll just press it again to unmute. You can see we've unmuted on screen. Now I'm going to turn the volume up and then we'll turn the volume down. You can see on screen, we are lowering the volume on the upper left-hand corner and on the device itself, we get a certain level of green bars going across to indicate what our volume level actually is. And finally, if a call was coming in, we could have answered with the answer button but we are going to click the hang up button down here to end the call. 
And just like that, our meeting is over. And now to demo the audio input. On the earlier segment of this video where we first introduced the EPOS Expand 40T, I was using a wireless lapel mic. That's what my audio sounded like then. Then I was using a built-in webcam microphone for the last little segment where we went through the software and showed you the Teams integration. Right now, I'm just using the onboard microphone built into this Alienware laptop. So you're hearing just the default built-in microphone on my recording now. Now, before we start recording using the Expand 40T, I wanna point out our recording settings in Camtasia. We're not recording the screen, capturing the video using the camera up top, and we are about to go into our microphone. You can see right now we've got that microphone array, our onboard audio device. Right above it is the EPOS 40T. So we're gonna click on that. You can see that it already changed. It says echo canceling, popping it open. We can see we've got it selected and it is actually hearing our voice. We've got it on the table. We're gonna click record and then the recording that we're gonna share is actually gonna be my audio as I am speaking uh, near the speakerphone. And so right now, the audio you are hearing is being recorded through the Expand 40T, sitting on the desk, maybe two feet away from me. Uh, in a, a conference room, you might have it a little bit further away. The Expand 40T is meant to take handle rooms up to about eight people, small to smaller medium rooms. I'm a little bit closer, but as we pick up the speakerphone, if I turn it this way, you can kind of tell I am recording through this. The audio changes when I change the direction of the device. I'm putting it back down on the table, there we go. And so this is an example of what it might be like for other participants of a Teams meeting as they hear you using the Expand 40T as your go-to audio solution of choice for your Teams meetings. Well. There it is, the Expand 40T from EPOS, certified for Microsoft Teams. Hope you found this overview and demo video helpful. If you did, subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on future device overview videos. And please go the extra mile, hit that like button, and share it around on your social media channels. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope we'll see you back here for the next device overview video.